Hey y'all, I'm on for like a quick second. Just wanted to show you something. I'm noticing that while my hair is a little finer in the back, first of all, welcome to my channel. This is Patrice Evans. Thank you for all my subscribers. Make a thumb, put a thumbs up on this video if you like it. This is gonna be like a three, four minute, five little quick thing I wanted to tell you, okay? All right, so my hair is growing and I've been stretching it out. So I feel it on my neck more. And I just thought of something that I wanna share with you. We can get into this more deeply later, but I'm thinking of a past the shoulders scarf that I'm gonna start encouraging y'all to do. You can see that it's rubbing against the scarf. I don't really need the scarf right now because I have one of my dresses that I wear off the shoulders. But when I'm sitting at Starbucks and stuff, I'll be having my hair back and everything. So I keep a satin, um, a satin uh, cap in my purse and I'll put the satin cap on while I'm in Starbucks and just have my bang out when I'm sitting back on their thing. If I'm in the movies and the couch, the chair is a uh, cloth-like, then I'll put it on then too. However, with this scarf, let's go into having these scarves and, and you can probably find them anywhere, but maybe I'll make some. You can actually have my hand on the phone right now, but you can lift it up. If I go to the movies, you can lift this up and lean back with it so your hair doesn't touch stuff. So I'm jumping right into it. I'll put the title of what this is for. This is why we need protective styles because we're protecting it from the elements, but we're also protecting it from our clothes when it starts getting long. We want longer hair, but when it starts to rub up against your neck, like it's starting to do now, my hair's beginning to do that, now I gotta think about my coats and my clothes and things like that. It's not very thick, but it's still there. It's starting to do that. So while we want length, the reason why we're, I've been studying about why people don't get past their shoulders and stuff like that, and it turns out that it's because of um, it rubbing against stuff and it's breaking as it's growing. So get a scarf. I happen to just have this scarf. I'm not sure if this is satin polyester or what, but get some silk scarves. Use them as things on your edges. Use them anywhere. Start getting into silk scarves. Get some pretty colors that you like. This kind of pops a little bit. But, I mean, listen, you got to make some decisions. Do you want to wear your hair up in braids all the time? Do you want to always have to keep your hair up? Or do you want to enjoy it long and laying when it grows? And if you're going to be having that long hair and you want it to lay, instead of just, you know me, it's about freedom, keeping you free to be beautiful. So... I'd rather you get a beautiful scarf and wear that on your back and on your neck so that you can be free with your hair than to say, oh, well, black girls can't have their hair out like everybody else. We have to put it up so it doesn't touch our shirts. Well, buy a silk shirt. I don't know. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm already thinking of a line of clothing, you know, that I can help out with or whatever. So anyway, guys, get a satin scarf. Get something to uh, wear like this. And then you can always lift it up if you're sitting back on a chair. It seems weird, but if we learned all we learned about our hair, and we know that our hair is so delicate, we just got to do what we got to do and still keep our wash and goes, right? Anyway, so keep Jesus in your journey. This is one little quick tip about how to retain your length um, by not letting it rub against clothing that can actually damage the ends. So my hair is trying to do its thing. It's, it looks like it's sprouting like a little flower coming out. You can see it. It's like, oh wait, I wanna, I'm trying to grow. Let me try to, and I can feel it on my neck. So it's nice and cute. But this texture here is so much straighter than the other. So it's kind of like hanging by itself, but that's okay. I'm gonna let my hair do what it wants to do. If this was a weave, I'd be like, oh, let me trim that. That don't look right. But I'm not doing that. This is my hair. That's the other thing. Get used to your hair doing what it does. Don't be mad at it. Do what you gotta do back there. Grow if you want to. I'll just protect you with a little scarf. You get what I mean? This is a journey. So it, it's fun to learn about my hair because I've never really been at the stage where I'm doing what I'm doing now. You know, I never wore it out like this if it's this long. I've always had to put it up. So this is a little tip for you. I hope it works. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Remember to keep Jesus a part of your journey and maybe I'll come on again tomorrow with something more substantial. But I just figured I'd just give you this quick little tip for any of you that are at my stage right now and you just want to make sure it doesn't rub against your coats and stuff. So the scarf will go on the outside of your coat this is the winter wash and go tip outside of your coat outside of your shirt whatever but get a satin or silk scarf okay god bless you all. i love you so much have a great weekend bye